Hey everyone, your local expert Josh here with another interview with a local business owner. Today I sit with 20 Fathoms um, Tech Incubator, or I'm sorry, Tech and Hub Tech and Hub incubator. and Startup Incubator. Um, Andy Cole, Executive Director. Andy, thanks for being with us today. Yeah, glad to be. Thank you. I really appreciate you taking the time. I know you're busy, so I want to just get right to the questions here. Um, so one question I wanted to ask you is, why is entrepreneurship so important for our community, for our area? What, what is your take on that? Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, really, th there, there are a lot of facets to this. Um, probably the biggest one that's generating the most excitement is with regard to economic development in the area um, and getting uh, uh, year-round employment, which has been an issue. Um, there's also an issue of um, what people refer to as the drain, the brain drain, um, where incredibly talented, um, you know, even high school students, you have to leave uh, in order to gather, you know, more skills and the opportunities uh, tend to be in other places, bigger cities. Um, and then getting them back is incredibly difficult. Um, they call these folks that, that go away, learn some skills and come back, they call them boomerangs. Um, I suppose I'm one of them because I left for 15 years and just came back. Uh, most recently in the Boston um, area and, uh, and created startup ecosystems like the one we're building here. But um, to get back to your question, it's really about creating year-round employment. It's about attracting highly intellectual talent to the area. Um, and, and when you do that, you tend to uh, attract high-paying jobs as well. So not just people who are around uh, uh, year-round, um, but these are people that are uh, pulling a lot of um, uh, wealth through their businesses uh, into these salaries and then that all comes into our community as well mm -hmm. and so with things like technology uh, tech is uh, it, it allows you to, to effectively sell something outside of the boundaries of the area um, unlike a, a, a retail t-shirt shop where you're really just competing to the next the store literally next to you um, here it's it's your your market is much more abundant and global and that wealth comes into the area um, helping everybody here for sure so it's a really big deal for the economic development of our area I mean you take boomerang catapult for example who's invested in seven eight different startups and, uh, and in just a, a year or two um, they've calculated that they've created 45 jobs and it's high they're high paying jobs that uh, that have created about four million dollars on an annual basis of wealth that comes into this community that simply wasn't here before they did that and so we're looking to to do that as well here yeah. in our space awesome and hopefully everybody hears that that's four million dollars of, of wealth that's coming into our area for the people that live in our area um, that's huge that's really important and as Andy had said it, Growing up here, Andy grew up here. A cyclical workforce has, has always been something for us. I mean, we all we, we because of the nature of our area, we have you know obviously we're booming in the summer and we're we're dormant in the winter time. So when you can have something like that, some sort of tech or some a business that you don't necessarily have to have you know you can do business outside and, and still live in the area, that's great. I know that there's also a big need for uh, higher paying jobs in our area. People want to move to Traverse City from a real estate perspective, which is increasing the demand, which is also increasing the market, uh, the, the price and the market value. So those jobs, uh, they say that right now our jobs don't, the jobs that are available don't necessarily fit the demand for real estate in our area. So a lot of people are having uh, a hard time finding affordable housing. So that's another thing that that is, is I think, related closely with that. Um, and that kind of brings me to my next uh, question for you. And this is kind of a, a forecast out. You know, you, you spoke about the uh, amount of economic growth that comes into it. What do you see in terms of the, the, the places, you know, like Boston or other places that are very, what would you say, uh, people would want to be there for these larger companies, right? Does Traverse City have those amenities outside of the business? I mean, I feel we have pretty comparable amenities. How do they compare with your experience? I mean, what, would we attract people yeah. to this area? What, what we have that's really exciting, and when I moved here two years ago, I didn't know that this was here. This is something I just sort of found by meeting the people here um, when my wife and I moved back. There's an incredible talent here. And uh, in, in, in what I'm gathering is that Traverse City wins on lifestyle. So incredibly talented people who could live anywhere on the planet so long as they have a good internet connection and can do their jobs, they can look at their companies and say, 
this is where I want to live. And for some of those people, it might be Hawaii or mm -hmm. whatever. Um, but for a lot of those people, Traverse City is the number one place on the planet where they want to live. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and for those of us that, that live here and work here, we know exactly why. But we're kind of a, a hidden gem. And so we're small, but on a per capita basis, I think our talent is better than anywhere that I've been. And I've lived awesome. on the West Coast, and I've lived in Boston. And I think, you know, absolutely, uh, those, those are... You know, Silicon Valley, Boston are the top two places in the world for entrepreneurship, no doubt about it. I mean, uh, Boston has Harvard and MIT in its backyard, and those talent pools are uh, world-renowned. But here in Traverse City, on a per capita basis, um, given our population, given all of the people that can live anywhere in the world and they choose to live here, and they're tucked away in their beautiful homes, you know, on the uh, old Mission Peninsula or whatever, Sutton's mm -hmm. Bay, um, they're doing incredible things. For sure, Andy. Well, thank you. I, I wanted to just sit back and kind of let you explain there because it's, you know, in terms of I think that when people think about something like 20 Fathoms, you know, people that are in the know or are looking for that service are, are perfectly able to, you know, verify, hey, that's something that would be good for me. Um, but when come, when people outside looking in, they're like, well, what's that? What's that sign out front? So I really appreciate you kind of taking the time to, to a part of your schedule to explain that to me, to us, and to my viewers. And uh, I really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All yeah, right. happy to do it. It was it's a good pleasure. to talk to you, man.